Good day, players, and welcome to a fun astronomy lesson with Master Ogiwan. Today we are gonna to compare stars. That's right. So we have ten stars. I have to sort them by size, but this is not the actual size of the stars because. These uh, numbers are very big. We cannot fit them in the screen. Anyway, we have uh, some different stars. Okay, one of them are red giants, other are yellow dwarfs like our. But let's begin. I begin with the f with the smallest star here in the in this exercise. This is. Trappist one. It is a cold red dwarf. And when I sort it, I can see the actual size of the comparison. We we compare them with the sun, of course, because we know uh, most about it. <laughs> okay, so one sun is nine times Trappist one star system. That means Nine Trappist make one sun. This is uh, in in size, in volume. We compare them in, in size and not in mass, although the mass is <laughs> bigger. Stars are with bigger mass, but when the stars are almost the same, it may, va may vary. Okay. The next one is Alpha Centauri B. Mm. This is an orange dwarf star. Let's place it in the second place. And this star is almost equal to the sun, to our star. It is 85% of the sun. Now, third position, third place is for our beautiful yellow dwarf star, the sun. Right? And it is with uh, wine. 1.39 million kilometers in diameter. This should be diameter of the sun. Now we are going to the bigger stars. The next one should be Arcturus. This is an orange giant. Ah, I have conquered so many of these stars in games like uh, Galactic Civilization, for example. This is uh, Printed in my mind, these different stars. There were green stars there, but I failed to find, discovered, confirmed green star. Maybe there is, but I found a blue star. We'll reach there. First, let's check Arcturus. Arcturus is 15,000 times the sun. So, 15,000 suns will make one Arcturus. The next star should be Aldebaran. I think this, wait, this was homeworld of someone. In Master of Orion 2, Master of Orion. Actually, I made what game will I play next? But this is uh, removable. Okay, don't make things that are not removable. Tomorrow, the matrix will be restarted and you may think differently. At least, this is what I think. Let's see. Aldebaran is 86,000 times the sun. It's quite big. Let's see the next one. The next one is Rigel. This is the blue supergiant, which is... 343,000 times the sun. Now the sun begins to appear like a small dot compared to these big stars. But we are not there yet. Let's check the next one. The next one should be Antares A, another red supergiant. These are stars with masses bigger than the sun, which have a different lifespan. You can check that 
in other Planeta 42 games. But there is Antares. Antares is going in the nine digits. This is millions, a lot of millions. 314 millions, 432,000 times the sun. And we are going to the next one. This is a red supergiant, Betelgeus. It is almost in the trillion, right? In, in the billion, actually. So we, can, we have eight, wait, 800 millions, shouldn't be, yep, 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 we're not in the billion yet. Uh, there we go, this is a red hypergiant, Canis Majoris, the next star. And we have uh, the billion here, two billion and a half times our star, which is actually, it cannot be seen if we can see Canis Majoris. I wonder if I have a spaceship and I can see Canis Majoris from this distance, I shouldn't be able to see the sun, right? I wish I can experiment this. <laughs> well, in some computer games. And finally, we are going to our winner, which is the Scooty star. I think it's UV Scooty or something. This is the biggest star discovered by astronomers so far. And it is 5 billion times. 5 billion, 510 million, 32,000, 32,000, <laughs> yeah. all right, and this is the astronomy lesson for today, yep, good gaming.